Hi there, welcome back to another episode of Zane's Garage. Today we're going to be breaking down the small block Chevy 350 and we're going to figure out exactly what went wrong with it. Let's get started. Shouldn't do that. Hi there everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, as I said in the last video, uh, we will be tearing down this engine right here. And uh, if you guys didn't know, this is a small block Chevy 350 that I pulled out of my 1990 Camaro here. Uh, I left the 700R4 transmission still in there. Um, but it is developing some sort of rod knock. Uh, I'm not positive exactly what it is yet. But uh, just today, the main purpose of this video is just tearing it all down, taking everything apart, and checking out what the heck went wrong with this thing. And I think Brody might help, and he's pretty muddy. He's turning into a black lab instead of a yellow lab. But that's okay. That's okay. All right. <laughs> okay, but anyways, we gotta start breaking down this engine and get started. Okay, here she is with the intake off and I'm going to try to get you guys in here to see if you can see it but there you go you might be able to see let me get my flashlight on here you guys can see the glitter and the oil down there I mean there's obviously a bunch of material going on in here way more than what there should be um so it's a good thing I'm taking this thing apart I don't know how much longer it would have lasted before it really destroyed itself so let's keep digging see what we find Okay, so the oil's draining. Um, it doesn't look crazy bad, but this, oil, this pan wasn't clean to begin with, but you can still see some sparkles in there. I'm gonna try to cut open that filter just to see what we find in there. Um, I don't know how well you guys can see that, but there's the drain plug. Let me get this. There we go. Yeah, you can see on there, there's quite a bit of material on it. So, I'm going to let this drain, cut open that filter, and uh, yeah, we'll find out what the heck is uh, going on here. Alright, so here's that filter. And without even cutting this thing open, I mean. I don't know if you guys can see just all that material just sitting on the top right there. A lot of not good stuff in there. Okay, I'll cut it open and see if we can find any uh, chunks. Okay, so here's what you guys don't want to see if you're inspecting a filter. Let me see if I can find a good one for you. How about that right there? That's a whole chunk. 
Not good. You see that? Yeah, there's a lot of bad stuff going on in this filter here. Um, looks like bearing material. So I guess that's a positive. Pretty much what I assumed. And we're probably going to find that out the further we dig into the uh, the engine here. See exactly what went wrong, which bearing. It's just impossible to do this without making a total mess everywhere. Uh, I guess I'm not doing too bad. Anyways, the uh, the lifters over here. I was just looking at them. Let's see. There we go. They look totally fine to me. Flat. No wear marks. I'll pull the cam out here in a minute, but I'm not worried about that. Time to get this oil pan off, um, and I found something interesting. Look at that. It was missing a bolt. It wasn't leaking as far as I was aware. But that's always interesting. wonder where that guy went. Okay, I don't know if you guys could hear it or not, but when I took this uh, oil pan off, the oil filter here, or the pickup tube, I guess, for the oil pump was laying over here. It fell right out. Um, I don't know if it was still attached. I'm guessing it was very, very loose if it wasn't detached, but I mean, look at this, guys. This uh, is supposed to be perfectly round, and it's not. It's dented in. This thing has obviously been down here in the galley getting smashed by rods and stuff. Wow. Okay, so that might be part of the noise we were hearing when it was running. Um, wow. <laughs> Maybe that was why it didn't have oil pressure or didn't have very much of it. Very interesting. Okay, let me get these, uh, these rod caps off and maybe we can find some bad bearings. Okay, number one piston is out. Here's the crank bearing on that one. Looks totally fine to me. But here's the rod bearing. Not good. Definitely scraped up and it was definitely loose. Um, now let me show you guys this. I think this pretty much sums up what the issue was here. Look, so here is number, I think, four rod. Not loose at all. Here's number three. Shouldn't do that. So that bearing is definitely fried. The rest of these I've shaken as well. They seem to be totally fine. Uh, the noise is definitely coming from right there, though. And that's the bank that we thought it was coming from as well. So let me pop this off and let's see what that bearing looks like.
Well, here she is, guys. Number three piston and rod here. Here's the bearing. Completely destroyed. No tab on it, nothing. So that one was toast. That's obviously where the noise is coming from. Here is the inside of the engine here on the crank. You can see I'm spinning a bearing right now on top of that crank. Surprisingly, the crank doesn't look too bad. But the bearing on it honestly was destroyed. And that's where all that noise is coming from. The number three and the number one piston here from the front left of the engine like we thought. Um, maybe I caught it soon enough to not do any major damage. Uh, but I'm going to be sending this block off to a machine shop hopefully here soon. Figure out what I can do with it. Maybe bore it over. I know it's 30 over already, but it can go to 40 if it needs to, I think. Uh, I'd like to just keep it standard, but we'll see. But that's all I'm going to do today, guys. Everything else is looking just fine here. None of these other rods are making any noise or any knock. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. We did a whole bunch on this. Nice quick little engine breakdown. Uh, I appreciate you guys watching and stay tuned if you guys want to see what happens to this block and maybe what happens to this Camaro here. Thanks again. Later. <laughs> Brody here is going to help. He's going to help take apart the engine. Alright Brody, go ahead. Get started. Waiting on you.